The first time I came across Jordan was when I took over the reserves I, and uh, Philip Mitchell was the goal manager at the time and it sort of tied him, him about players and who was coming through and he had said there was this big young lad coming through from the under 17s, uh, Jordan Owens. He hadn't been with Philip yet. He said he's one to watch, he's scoring a lot of goals. So I think uh, the under 17s were playing the final at Linfield down at Taylor's Avenue at the time and I went down to watch it and obviously Jordan was playing and 15 minutes into the game Jordan had at their centre half and got sent off and remember saying he'll do me. Level. I've played with Jordan since he was 16 years of age um, and you need something special. I remember him coming into the team um, as a sort of big tall gangly young lad coming in and you know it's funny there's, over the years you see a lot of you know young players come and go and you, you get a sort of feel for them as soon as they come into the team as, as to whether you think they might have a, have a chance you know of you know, making some sort of career in the Irish League out of it and probably a big check when he first came in you just knew he had that wee bit about him and it's probably that just attitude that he has where he just goes about his business, he just works really, really hard. He was always big then and he was a big presence for the reserve teams then and he scored goals. And I think probably uh, his defining moment was probably the start of the second, third season maybe with me. We went to play the PSNI and a friendly at the start of the season and the game ended 5-5. Five -five. Uh, defence was on top. Jordan scored all five goals and uh, they weren't just top ends, he scored one with a header, he scored one from 25 yards, he scored one with his left foot, and he scored a dribble, he scored all kinds of goals. I remember coming back to Stevie and saying, look Stevie, I can't do any more with Jordan, he needs to go to the first team now, and that was really it for me. Well, he is the best header of a ball I've ever seen in my life. Um, you know, he's going to win let's say 90% of the headers, and when you're playing beside him, it's a dream like, for me, because I can just feed off his scraps, and you can almost read his flick on because you know he's going to win it. So you can even take a chance and go early and it's uh, you know, as I say, it's, it's great just to play with such a legend he is, the club. It's tremendous, it kind of epitomises what the, the, the club's all about um, in regards to our style of play, in regards to being a player who's been here for so many years and he's a player he's come up through and it's tremendous and those players that for every club it's hugely important to have players who have came right up through the system as well. So playing with them on a Saturday, uh, I generally feel sorry for the centre half. There's times whenever you're just thinking that they're, uh, they're in for an extremely tough day. His work rate speaks for itself. Um, you know, he's lethal, scoring goals in one box, and he's brilliant at the back, defending others. He's outstanding, and the big man gives, him, gives his all every single game. Big man's different class, you know. I think, I think what sums him up really well is, you know, strikers can kind of be a bit selfish, but, you know, they're all about goals and all about themselves, but. You know, not Jordan Owens. If, if he's not in the box scoring goals, he's back in our box to defend them. And if he sees Paul Heatley, Gavin White, anyone out of position, he's the first man to run in and fill in. You know, when me as a defender, uh, I love seeing it, and it's it's something he can be really proud of. He's very strong in the air, and he scores. He's probably scored more headers than anybody in Irish League football. He probably is, but I think people underestimate the work rate Jordan does as well. You know. Two seasons ago, when he was probably at his, he probably had his best season for us. Uh, he was working the front line on his own, so he was, and that's something that people don't probably appreciate. He's probably the, the ultimate teammate. You know, he's just one of those big players up there, and he just, you know, when it, when it doesn't go his way in terms of goals, you know, maybe he's not banging the goals in. Um, though that's not too often. He still gives you so much, you know, as a, as a player, and you know what he gives you. Work rate, works a back four. He helps you out in defence. He. You know, you're maybe hanging on one nil at the end and you see him, he's dropped in the centre midfield and he's heading balls and he's trying to tackle people and all. He's just like a he's like an ultimate teammate, you know, he just you can he wears his heart in his sleeve, he goes out there and he gives it hundred percent every week and you know he's got his rewards over the years with the trophies and medals that he's won and obviously the amount of goals that he scored for the club. Most importantly, so hard working. Um, just take gives the defenders a break by putting a lot of work in up front and uh, incredible, incredible player and someone you'd rather have on your team than against you. I remember particularly the Irish Cup final in 2009, he started playing out wide right with a bandage and all on his head and you know he, he, missed, he missed a good chance in the first half um, but he was the type of player that even as a young lad, you know, when he missed that chance, he just kept the head down and kept working hard and you know, he's done that right through, you know, he, he, people probably give him one first stick, you know, maybe he does miss one or two chances but you know, the big man just keeps going and keeps going and you know, he's got his goals and he deserves them all. Against him, um, it's, it's, it's a hugely difficult game. but it's. Just, Probably the, the one striker that I've, I've never really looked forward to playing against because, um, you know, a lot of people don't give him the credit he deserves for his 
as an all-round footballer as well. Um, obviously, he's, he's known most for his dominance in the air and it's tremendously difficult um, to win. I think over maybe, goodness knows, I've been playing eight years against chicken um, and maybe if you're playing three games a season or four games, there's 32 games and maybe I'm looking at maybe two to three games where I would have come off felt that actually I did all right today. So um, as you can see, there's an awful lot of games where he's, he's just been unplayable on occasion. So it's the first thing I, I kind of mentioned at the club when I joined was I'm just thankful now on a Saturday um, that I'm playing with him and not against him. Well, we played against each other a good few times, but don't, don't like me and chicken never had any run-ins anyway. Oh, nightmare! Hated him. Hated, hated playing against them because you just come win it, win the wall against. You just come win a header, and I'm just thankful that I'm on his team. Put it that way. Crap. He's crap. <laughs> There's. I'll, I'll, I'll not say a lot about that. <laughs> he's not known as being the best trainer. No, he's a poor trainer. We we're just talking about that tonight. Out there, and he's not a great trainer. But as long as he does it in the Saudi. That's okay for us. Whenever you see him on your team, you're sort of going on, no way is he in my team. But, as big Steve O'Flynn always used to say, whenever the lights come on, that's when it matters. On a Saturday or a Tuesday night, down at Mournview, down at Warren Point, checking the livers. That's what it's all about. There was three of us at the club at the time. There was myself and Stuart Dallas and, and Big Chicken. and he, he just took it all in a stride, you know the way he does. He's just sort of laid back big fella, you know, and I'm sure he... I'm sure Ed said he was a bit nervous and you know wanting to play and I remember him coming on and Sturdy Dallas had come on I think after about 70 minutes and then Big Big Jordan came on for the last 15 minutes and you know he was going up against Gabadon and it was a good day you know for you were able to sort of look around and then a Northern Ireland team there was three two other your teammates you know three Crusaders players. Jordan's one he's actually a quiet big fan he's one of the nice guys and I suppose everybody's talking about him he's a record breaker Crusaders but. I think most of all, he's a big gentleman. He's a great guy. Um, he's a really good fella, um, and I'm not just saying that. Do you know he is? And any player would tell you the same thing. He's ultra competitive on the pitch. Um, he's got a huge desire to win, um, and he just uh, he goes about his job just in a very uh, quiet and, and humble way. Um, but you know, when you're walking out onto the pitch with Jordan Owens and your team, that you're uh, going to have the advantage. Absolute legend of the club, and a pleasure to play with. Great guy on and off the pitch. Uh, he's even sent me a wee text off the pitch too and personal things, private things and you know we can be known as a bit of a quiet man probably around the dressing room but uh, off the pitch as I say he's, he's looked after me growing up through the youth and the first team, uh, he's nurtured me well. He's, act he's actually quite quiet big fella to be fair to him, you know he's, even on the pitch he doesn't, doesn't shout too much, the only time he ever really shouts at me is whenever I don't cross the ball in and you can see him shouting at you from a distance, but he is a quiet fella and he doesn't speak too much, but you know, he, he leads more by his actions than his words. Very quiet, um, just a big gentle giant. Obviously when he crosses that white line, um, playing the match, he turns into a different animal. Um, but yeah, proper gentleman. It's good, it's, um, it's a bit odd sometimes, because everywhere you go, you're walking out and you think he's a celebrity. Everybody's asking him for photos and signatures and but it's, it's good, he's good at home. Just always into football from he's been no age, anything round or would have kicked up. Loads of medals, loads of trophies, never seen any of them, always went to his granda. And the granda's house was just like a shrine for Crusaders. His living room was just a shrine. Mum we got nothing, and granda got it all. <laughs> he has his, his medals and his trophies and stuff from his granda past so he has all them in the house but he's like, he's dead modesty. There's only a few he would put out, there's not, he, sort of the rest of them are often hidden away. There's only a few that he would have on display. I'd just like to wish you all the best for your testimonial dinner and I hope it's a great end of the season for you as well. Alright Big Jordan, I uh, just want to wish you all the best for your, for your testimonial dinner tonight and all the events that you have running through the year. You know, I'm sure myself and any of the boys will be willing to help you out with anything you need to do and you know, you deserve all the plaudits you get, all the goals you've scored over the years and you know it's been a pleasure to play with you over the years and hopefully we've got a few more left between us um, in the tank and hopefully we'll win a few more trophies this year. Big Chicken, just want to wish you all the best tonight mate. I hope you have a great night. You're a great player and more importantly a great lad. Good luck mate. All the best for tonight. Um, you deserve it. Um, you're a great fella and you've done so well for the club. Uh, I'm thankful um, that I've been part of it for the last two years and hopefully uh, more years to come. But tonight's about you. It's about the credit that you deserve um, because you deserve um, every bit of it. 
have a good night, big man. Uh, all the best, chicken. Um, thank you for everything you've done for me in coming through, and it's been a pleasure to play with you for the last seven years, and I look forward to hopefully many more. And good luck on the night. Good luck for the night. Pleasure uh, playing with you, and congratulations on the goals and the testimonial. Well done, my man. Big chicken. All the best for your testimonial dinner, and we we should I hope that it goes really, really well for you. You've been an outstanding servant to the club, and I wish you all the best. Cheers, man. I try to discover. Thank you.